One skeleton spell. Two skeleton spells. Three skeleton spells. Four skeleton spells. Seven skeleton spells. There's no way. Eleven skeleton spells. Last time we did this, we had Rakiras on the channel and every time he tripled, he had to bring an extra Lava Hound. Well, today we got one of the best Skelly Donut Lalo players on the planet. It is Max of CMG. And today he's going to be coming in with Skelly Donut Lalo. Every time he triples, he has to add a skeleton spell. Let's see how he can do today. Now, we had him on the channel about a month ago. I can link it above me now. He's absolutely insane. But first attack, just going to be starting with one skeleton spell. He's also going to be bringing a bat. And look at that. He gets the CC and the multi down with absolute ease. Now, obviously, he normally brings two skeleton spells in Legends League, so one skeleton spell is going to be uh, actually not his normal comp and not as easy, but we're kind of expecting him to take this base down, especially with a skelly donut like that. Look at that. He just got rid of the entire core of the base. Now, Queen doing her thing near the town hall. So we just want the Queen to go in for the town hall. Also, sorry to say there is no in-game audio today. Uh, we did have that all fixed up and then it broke just before stream. It should be fixed for all future videos though. Really nice to have the in-game audio finally working after years of it not working. Is that a Super Valk? That is a Super Valk right in the middle here. Look at this. It, you can't really see her because she's with a million the king. And there, she dropped a rage. Oh, well, nothing's using it. F. That is the one problem with the Super Valk, though. That the uh, you never really know where the rage is going to go. Now, Lalo coming in on the top side. Really nice uh, Warden Pop. We get the Lava Hound in it. It's tanking that air defense for ages. The RC finally gets rid of that single. We still have our Flame Flinger on the bottom. I didn't even talk about that. Skelly Donut Lalo with a Flame Flinger. Not something you see every day. We freeze the uh, Eagle. Lalo coming around. Our RC is going to be crucial here. Another freeze, freeze and a Rage. Uh, obviously, we have one Rage with Phil, the Lalo with this. And we should just get this done because the Flame Fling is just going to get whatever our RC does it. And that's a really nice start to the video today for Max. Like I said, these first couple of attacks, he'll probably get them down quite easy because he's just that good with this army, particularly on Legends League style bases. But once he gets up to four, five, six, and I don't know if he'll even get to seven skeleton spells. Once he gets up there, this could get really interesting. I don't even know if he's going to use all of them with the Skelly Donut. He might end up using them all with the Sui. Maybe we can learn a thing or two today from him on how to use skeleton spells, but he's absolutely wiped this base. Great start here to Max. Two skeleton spells. Let's see what Max can do with this. This will be his normal Legends League comp. Running into a pretty toxic box. Obviously, I'm aware it is my base. Uh, generally, I'm just trying to set a wide variety of bases for today. There is no real preference for me. Um, I'm just going to give him, you know, we don't want him hitting the same style of base eight times today. So we're just going to uh, give him a variety and see what happens. So skeletons for the CC. It looks like he's... I see a bat spell. Yeah, the bat spell's on the single inferno. Jeez, how good is he at this? I just don't understand how he does that. Is he going to get rid of the Tesla? He does. So, CC, single inferno, and a Tesla. We use the last skeleton spell to tank for our queen. Because uh, she's dealing with the king. Also for the head hunter which is destroying the king. I can't believe he's using a Flame Flinger again. I can't remember when he did hits on the channel if this is normal for him to bring the Flame Flinger every attack. But this is cool. Because the Flame Flinger is just going to get such nice value. I have no idea what on earth triggered that uh, triggered that uh, tornado that went out near the uh, spell, uh, spell factory, near the sweeper at the top. But hey, we got rid of the NATO for basically free. That's pretty cool. King and RC on the bottom. King going to deal with the enemy queen. The ice golem freezes at the perfect time. And now it's just the RC dealing with the core of the base. Because look at this. Singles and Teslas. Not really the RC's favorite. Uh, not really the RC's favorite recipe in terms of defenses to deal with. Obviously rage over the eagle here. We pop our RC. I reckon we're going to freeze this single as well. The flame flingers still doing work on the top side of the base. I don't even know how it's still up. 
We warden, we get the headhunters in the warden. They get rid of the defensive RC. Just nice. And we have a freeze and a haste left. Our flinger is still up and this is absolutely wrecked. No real surprise though. Um, probably shouldn't have set a base with three singles. It was probably a little too easy to take down. But like I said, we're not really here for him to take down um, these bases. Uh, these bases with the two skeleton spells. Oh, obviously, I'll watch Max do Skelly Donut Lolo any day. But what we're all here for is these next attacks. He's going to have three skeleton spells. Four, maybe five. Let's see how he goes. Max coming in here. Coming on in on Stefan. He is the builder for Tribe Gaming. Obviously, they have a few. But he is, as far as I know, the main builder. And uh, so you know this base isn't easy. So let's see if Max can take it down with three skeleton spells. Now, as of no real surprise to me, he's just dropped the bat spell. So it's basically going to be a very similar idea. Um, he's just dropped the bat spell and used a skelly to take out the multi. Gets really good value there, though. Whew! We try and do like a Garku wall breaker. We try and do another. Look at it. It opens up the corner. Perfect. You love to see it. We've got the Super Valk in there yet again. I can't believe he's consistently bringing a Super Valk. Obviously, you don't really need Sneaky Gobs with this army because you're just doing such a quick Sui. You're not trying to, you know, get half the base. But like, look at this. King gets raged on the Eagle Artillery because of the Super Valk. And obviously the Super Valk doesn't just help with the Rage, which now the Loons are in. It will help uh, get rid of Skeleton Traps, because a lot of the time the area where you want to Sui is littered with them. Uh, let's see if the King can get through the wall. I think his Yak is must have gone down. Oh, that's a shame. We would have loved to have gotten rid of that Queen. And our Queen steps outside the base. A little unfortunate there. We still have an Invis. Oh no, RC! That's the problem with that invis there. The enemy queen steps out and we have no headhunters. We still have a skelly trap though. And that skelly trap can just be used to get the queen. Or to tank for our queen so she gets the queen. Here comes in the lala. Now we haven't used the uh, flame flinger this time. Uh, so we're going to have a stone slammer for the back end. It's... There's... Uh, I don't know how to describe what's left on this base. There is two scatters and the town hall. But aside from that, there's actually not a whole lot. But obviously, two scatters in the town hall is a lot of value. Warden, oh no. What's he doing? The Warden just completely betrayed us. And we can't quite get the single down. We still have our queen ability. But this one is going to fall just short. That is really unfortunate for Max there. So three skeletons doesn't quite work on the first go. Let's see if he can get it on the second go. Plenty of Skelly Donut value on this base. Look at all these buildings littered around the CC. I'm pretty sure this is the perfect range where he could go for a Scatter if he wanted. And maybe even try and get the Eagle too. But looks like he's just going for the CC and the Eagle? Or is it... Wait. Is he going for the Eagle? He's put down two Skeleton spells. So he got the Single and the CC. Doesn't get the Eagle. Wonder if he was going for the Eagle. That would have been really nice. But... Getting the core single and a uh, and the CC down. Can't really complain about that yet again, hanging onto that last skeleton spell. I would have loved to have seen him use that skeleton spell on the eagle, though. That would have been so cool. Look at this Super Valk, by the way. I didn't really see it at the start, but it's just dropped a rage. Can the queen step in the rage? That's pretty cool. A rage queen on the town hall. It... I, pr I thought it meant that he wouldn't have to pop the ability, but I think the queen just wasn't in the rage enough. Or it, or maybe it was because the unicorn wasn't in the rage spell. Regardless, Sui coming in from the bottom and then he's laloing to cut it off because he wants the RC to gut the core. He's also got the stone slammer to cut the core. I don't know where the stone slammer's going though. We freeze. Look at that perfect freeze. Our headhunters have gotten rid of the queen. We're going to have to pop this warden soon for our headhunters. So that they don't die to the king. Because we need them to take out the queen as well. Uh, the RC, sorry. We pop the warden. Okay, we kept one headhunter alive. It's going to get through the king. It's taking so long. Here comes the headhunter. Oh, he's got another one. I didn't even realize he had another one in the bag. And it get it with the owl gets rid of the RC. Lalo's coming across. 
And I think he's got this. This sweeper's a bit of a problem. Okay, the sweeper's on the warden. I mean, that is annoying, but the stone slammer doing its thing. And yeah, paths exactly where we want it to. The loons with the dragon rider. And the dragon rider will clutch this here. Obviously, if it was a dragon, it still probably would be a cr clutch. But uh, it's always better with the dragon rider, in my opinion. Minions on the left side trying to do cleanup, but pulling every single red bomb on the base. He doesn't have a whole lot of cleanup here. He does not have a whole lot of cleanup. But, oh wow. <laughs> oh, it's so funny how people put red bombs these days. Most of the time it's just to stop clone balloons. Because clone spells still really strong in the meta. But not strong enough to stop Sui Lalo or the Skelly Donut Lalo. My bad. And let's see if Max can get it with four skeleton spells. Four skeleton spells. Let's see how Max goes about this one. Now, this base is pretty similar to the first one, uh, unfortunately. But it isn't the same base, I think. No, it isn't. But it is very similar. Let's see how Max plans on taking it down. Yet again, same as with the other one. He's doing a flame flinger down the bottom. Four skeleton spells. He's only got one rage. He is going to use it with the Skelly Donut. There was a potential for him to not rage the Skelly Donut. Um, but... All four Builder Huts, well, four Builder Huts, sorry, are in the area here. And he might have decided that he needs the Rage. Now, he only uses two Skeleton Spells with the Skelly Donut. Little disappointing. I wanted to see him use three, but I'm not sure he really could have used three there. All the buildings were kind of awkwardly uh, too close to each other. So he, I'm not sure he could have got the Scatter and the Multi there, just with the size of the Invis spell. Fling is doing great work. The, the skeleton spell's actually tanking the mortar. That's perfect. Because look at this. The flame flinger comes in. That is so well done. That is so well done there from Max. Just showing that, you know, you can send your flinger straight into the mortar. But if you've got skeleton spell and or a king, you can be really smart about it. Just pops the queen immediately on the town hall. Better to preserve her health. The king is going through the core. The super valk is being dumb as all valks are. Look at it. Oh, Valks, keep trying. Keep on trying. The king did great work through the center of the base here. And this is a very similar Lalo to what we saw before. RC gets the single down. He pops his RC ability. Can our RC get through this, though? Last time, she nearly lived the entire attack. But these skeleton spells and the cannon with the nado making it difficult. The, uh, the scatter shot is still up. We rage our Lalo. Wait, what? Where did he get the second rage from? Maybe he did bring two and I'm just an idiot at the start of this. Regardless. So he did bring two rage spells. <gasps> Look at that loon on the scatter. <gasps> it literally has one health. It literally has one health. What an absolute champion. What an absolute champion. And this is going to go down. Man, that was a bit harder than the other one. I wonder what could have changed since he uh, hit the base that was similar to this. Hmm. Maybe he added two skeleton spells. Lost a bat, and I think he lost a freeze, if I'm not mistaken. Wasn't really keeping track, but regardless, Max gets the triple with four skeleton spells. Now, this gets fun. I don't know how good Max is at math, but I'm pretty sure when you triple with four skeleton spells, you should be moving on to five next. But Max, way too cool for that. He's moved on to seven. I'm not going to stop him. Are you guys going to stop him? The man's using seven skeleton spells. And he's still using the Rage. I don't think he meant to use the Rage here, guys. I'm pretty sure this is a mistake. He has said uh, in one of his hits earlier that he didn't mean to drop the Rage spell. And I reckon this is the exact same thing. Oh, well, he still gets good value with the Skeletons. But no way he thought he needed four Skeletons and a Rage for that. Double Skeleton spells for his Sui here, tanking the Queen. And that air bow. Unfortunately, the air bow locks onto our queen. We have to use our last invis. And then we put another skelly down. Look at them. They're going down all around the base. We don't have a single haste spell. Super Valk drops a rage. Hmm. 
At least we technically have a rage with this army now, with the help of the Super Valk. And the Lolo's coming up around the top. The Arcee's actually in a great area of the base. He's done this kind of like a skelly, uh, kind of like a Sui Lalo, sorry, on the box bases. You have the RC in the middle, Queen Town Hall, and a King for the Scatter. The only benefit, the main benefit though, is he has no CC to fight. So this Sui gets even more value than when you see kind of Rakira's do this army. And we still have the Stone Slam. I complete. Wait a second. Wait a second. Hold up. This is wrecked. Headhunters take out the RC. We still have our Warden ability. Is this guy about to swag his Warden ability? He's still got a freeze spell as well. I think he's about to pop the Warden here. Yeah, he does. Smart decision. As much as I'd love to see him swag his Warden with seven skeleton spells, I don't really blame him here, but my word. He just tripled with seven skeleton spells. How? I'm not sure I could ever do this. But Max is just on another level. This guy's insane. I am so glad we got him on today. And here's the proof in the pudding of why we did it. He's only got one attack left today though. Let's see. Let's see if he can take it down with however many skeletons he brings in the next attack. Excuse me? He's bringing in 11 skeleton spells. 11! That only leaves three invis. He starts out with the giant, then one skeleton spell with a headhunter, and this is so smart. Look at this. He's going to take down the defensive king and set up a path for his flame flinger. But let's have a look in the core. He's put down five skeleton spells. He has three invis with this. That's the last one. Can he get his targets? He gets one. He gets one single. He gets two singles. The CC and the sweeper. Oh my lord! Did we just see that? He's bringing se eleven skeleton spells. I can't even say it right. It's that mind-boggling. He's bringing eleven skeleton spells. And he's already gotten good value. And his flinger's going to get great value. What in this town hall area can outrange a flinger? Nothing. Uses another skeleton spell to tank for the queen. So our king can go in and take her out. Pop our queen on the town hall. She should also get this scatter. The nado is in a really awkward section of the base here. Um, king's going to clear out the core. Queen is going to die, but the Flame Flinger should get that other scatter down as long as there's no ground skellies. And the Lalo's coming from the right-hand side, but the Sweeper. We don't have anything to stop the Sweeper. We are Laloing into a Sweeper. Is this even possible? Our RC ability has to take this Sweeper down. And she should. She really should. There it goes. Gets rid of her uh, air defense as well. Lalo's coming across. No way. No way. Don't even. There is actually no way this is happening, guys. He just swagged his warden whilst using 11 skeleton spells in the Skelly Donut Lalo. What? What am I even watching? Is this Clash of Clans? Oh my word, I'm so disappointed we don't have in-game audio working today. I would have loved to have heard the sound of all those skeleton spells being deployed, but it does not matter. Max is absolutely insane, and with 11 skeleton spells, he made it look easy.